Deva. Sureka, what do we have cooking today? So, uh, we have uh, tandoori naan today, butter naan. And uh, along with that, we'll be having the red gravy chicken. So, I have few things prepared. What kind of chicken? How do you say that? It's, uh, it's red gravy, actually. Red gravy. Just you can say chicken masala. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have many things prepared. Firstly, let the chicken start up because we have kept it raw today. It's not pre cooked at all. So, uh, this is our marinated chicken. I have washed the chicken. It's boneless chicken, but still, I have few bones. Like, ultimately, bones gives us the final taste. And uh, this has just salt, turmeric powder, and uh, some garam masala, garam masala powder. So just, I have kept it marinated for around an hour. Last time it wasn't uh, for this short time, but this time I'm using very, uh, you know, soon. I have kept it for marination very late because I wanted to cook here. I have switched on my pan, my karai. Today I'm using a uh, thick base aluminum karai. And this is because uh, the gravy that we are making can stick to the bottom. And that might be, you know, uh, it won't be good at scratching the uh, non-stick pan and removing all the non-stick uh, coating of the pan. So I'll show you the ingredients that I have kept it ready. These are the two pastes that we'll be including in this. This paste has coriander leaves and ginger garlic, raw coriander leaves and ginger garlic paste. With just, I guess, uh, three to four spoons of water. And this paste has uh, pre cooked onions, tomato, and uh, what to say, curry leaves, four to five curry leaves. You can see the curry leaves is not actually grinded, but it gives a good taste. And apart from that, I have uh, all the raw uh, spices in this, like bay leaf, cinnamon stick, star anise. So this paste is just cooked before in oil and I have uh, kept the paste ready. First, I guess this isn't going very fast, yeah? I think it's going kind of fast, too fast. Okay, okay. Um, Especially if I'm supposed to write this recipe. To... Say the ingredients again of this paste. Yeah. What is it yeah. called? Ginger garlic paste? Uh, no, this, the green paste that I have is coriander and ginger garlic paste. Okay. It's raw, raw coriander. It's not cooked at all. Coriander and ginger garlic. Okay. And this paste here, is of onion, tomato, curry leaves, and few raw spices like um, bay leaf, cinnamon stick, one star anise, mm -hmm. and just four cloves. These two paste is what I have kept ready, along and with those our marinated cooked. chicken. The second one was cooked, the first one was raw. Yes. I have pre-cooked in oil and I have just grinded it. And also in this paste, I have added salt and turmeric, but only to this quantity the salt and turmeric that is required for onion and tomato, it's just that. 
Okay. Yeah. So uh, our karai is ready. I'll add three to three tablespoons of oil. You know, using this pan is also beneficial because you could see the vibrant colors in this uh, karai. Otherwise, it's very difficult to see. So the oil should not be too hot. And we'll drop in the green paste, that is the coriander and ginger garlic paste. Because I have already uh, grinded curry leaves, I'm not dropping in any curry leaves in the oil this time. So I let this cook and add one teaspoon salt. Do you Half use regular, regular salt or sea salt? It's regular salt. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of uh, dried chili and dried garlic powder. Two teaspoons of uh, coriander powder. You can also add three. Teaspoons of coriander powder. It just gives nice flavor. And also, I'm uh, adding dried dry chili and what? Dried red chili and uh, dried garlic. Dried what? Garlic. Garlic. Okay, sorry. Yes. Now I have dropped in two teaspoons of garam masala powder. And we'll mix it well and put it in the oil. You know, all these masala, when we cook in oil, it gives a nice bright gravy. I'm adding some oil again. And because it is mean, we can be lenient about oil. There won't be any problem if we add oil because if we are using red meat, uh, lamb, then we should take care that we are not adding too much of oil because lamb itself has its own oily uh, contents that it leaves after cooking. Mm -hmm. But for chicken, it is not so. We can generously add oil while cooking for our taste and for our, uh, you know, mm, Attraction to the uh, gravy. It gives a nice red uh, gravy. Now I'm adding this paste, onion, tomato, curry leaves, and all the raw spices. Let it cook for some time. Till then, I can uh, show you the second thing till the time this is being cooked. The second thing that I just the second thing that we are uh, making today is naan. I'm happy that I have already prepared the dough and um, this I have rested it for around 20 minutes. I have just made the dough ready and I'll tell you what are the ingredients that I have included in this dough. So uh, for making this dough, I have used uh, all-purpose flour, flowers, 
that is meda in uh, common language all purpose flour meda m a d a yeah m a i d a meda the cake we use for baking just the uh, regular cake yeah of flour and uh, i've added just a pinch of salt in that a pinch of sugar for nice caramelized uh, upper layer and uh, just uh, a pinch of uh, baking soda and i have knitted it using milk and not water because uh, knitting it with milk gives is a it a nice chewy uh, texture okay so sorika how much flour and how much milk yeah uh, so i can say as um, two cups of flour mm -hmm. and generously you can i haven't counted but i can say i have been measured i guess um, i can say two cups of milk that i have used the same quantity of flour and milk so using you can add milk as per your uh, requirement because we need it with very soft consistency we need a very soft consistency for the uh, naan to be cooking very well so we have to keep it resting till the time we make this curry why because we need the dog to ferment using our baking soda that we have already added yeah so you can see that i'm scratching the bottom this is because uh, we want some uh, burnt taste of the same and our spices that we have added in the oil sticks to the bottom so that this is the reason that i haven't used the non stick pan today because we don't want to scratch the non stick so yes now i'll be adding this chicken this is marinated raw chicken that i'm adding and this is half a kg chicken okay wait 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 <laughs> so you have half a kg of chicken marinated in what in salt and turmeric powder say that again turmeric powder only turmeric powder yeah haldi Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm just coating the chicken with um everything. All the masala, the gravy and all. I'm using my hands because it gives me a feeling that I'm very much involved in this. Yes. Dish. You're putting <laughs> Baba's love in there. <laughs> True. So now I'll be adding some water. This I could say would be just half a glass of water that I have added. We mix it first. You see the consistency as if you're having it with naan chapati. you would like to have some gravy so you can add water as per your requirement adding one more half glass it's totally one glass of water because today we'll be having it with chapati and naan yes now this is perfect for the consistency now we we'll shift this to the big thing so
See, they don't have hot pad. They don't use hot pads in India. It's that instrument, <laughs> like yeah. a torture instrument. <laughs> We use definitely, but what happens is uh, it's, you know, uh, it's a high maintained uh, thing using an apron here and washing it again and again because we already have some damp cloths to keep on cleaning this uh, stove platform. So we use those sponges. So you don't make a mess like I do in the kitchen. You clean as you go. <laughs> yes, yes. That's the truth, yeah. Yeah, it actually reduces our time. I work. So now I have my pan. I'm using non-stick pan now. And just remove everything from here. Mm -hmm. And for making naan, I have the dough ready. I have my uh, rotary, you know, uh, base. What is that? I have my rotary it's, tool. So it's for, a wooden. It's a wooden. It's a yeah. wooden uh, base that we use, but you can definitely do on your platform. Yes, we have a word for it. I can't think of it. Yeah. So Diana, I have what this, is that called in America? It's, it's called what? You're, you're uh, muted. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I, I can't think of anything that matches that. No. As we have chopping boards, chopping this board. board is for making chapati. It, it's just round. It's just a wooden board. That's the difference, yeah. Is it for rolling mm -hmm. out the chapati to the right mm -hmm. size? Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, this is the right side, and it has three foot downside for some height. Okay. You can also do it on platform. I will try to show you what I'm doing downside. So this I have a damp cloth so that this board is not, you know, uh, shifting and it's not moving. You can also use a damp cloth. But this is a dry cloth that I'm using. And I just asked someone to help me out to hold this so that I can show you how I'm doing the naan. So we are not using any dry, uh, you know, the, uh, what to say, floor here. We'll be using just little oil and the shape that you want you can choose the shape i'm applying oil to both the base and to the uh, rolling uh, the roller and i'm just gently doing it Once you have a good shape, now I want it in a oval shape, in an elongated shape. I will not turn, I'll just do in a single stroke. Because we are in, we are not using any, uh, you know, um, dry flour. So we just want the shape to hold on, and we need some patience for this, actually. Could you say again why you're doing this with oiled um, roller rather than doing it dry? Uh, I'm not getting your question. Sorry. Could you explain again why you're doing this with oil rather than doing it dry? Yeah, because what is, uh, our next step is that we won't be uh, adding any oil while cooking. And second thing, if we use dry flour, because we'll be turning the uh, pan upside down to the flame, directly to the flame, 
the powder that we'll be using, the flour powder, would get burned. And that might disturb our flavor. Yes. So uh, this, I, I guess, unlike chapati, where you see some dark, this one is yes. non, and it's usually just plain, yes. plain white. Yeah. So I have it. A pan uh, are non ready to this size. I'm applying. I'm just applying oil on one side, and this side will be the upper side. So I'm turning it down, and I'll apply water to the other side with my hand, so that it sticks to the pan. Yeah, I have applied this. This is the water side, and this sticks to the pan. And we gently tap the corner so that it sticks to the pan. Okay, so water. You put the water side down. Yes, and that is just because so that the non sticks to the pan. And when we flip it over to the flame, to lick flame, it doesn't fall off. Um, what temperature is your flame? This is medium uh, temperature, medium flame uh, pan. Now I close this uh, so that the flavors are not going out and we have everything for us. So beautiful. Yes. Now we we'll apply this. This is rotating right now. So what we'll do, it's, it hasn't stick to the pan. We'll use this spatula. It's easy for this as well. Sometimes it happens when your pan is not that much hot. And I guess I have used my wrong pan, but definitely we'll uh, get this non ready. Why is it the wrong pan? Yeah, I guess this is the wrong pan because uh, I have two of the similar pans. <laughs> it looks same. Okay, it's not heating as well? No, no, it's heating and it's cooking as well. So you can see it's cooking uh -huh. from one side. Yeah, yeah. So a non-stick so pan. If we, yeah, if you have this, a scolding spatula, you can just turn this directly to the flame. Oh! For cooking. What if you have electric stove? If you have electric stove, but if you have oven, the same way as we cook our uh, pizza base, we can cook this. See, you can see the red and the, uh, you know, the bulk that is coming on the top. Wow. I hope your uh, family appreciates the love with which you're making these things. <laughs> Definitely, they just allow us to try and uh, you know experiment new things at home. We have yeah. definitely used this time very efficiently. So I have this non well cooked. After cooking it this way, just keep it on a plate and apply butter on the top. <laughs> and also, while uh, you know, uh, rolling it on the board, you can add chopped garlic and uh, coriander leaves and just roll it once so that the garlic and the coriander leaves are just into the dough. And it doesn't fall off when you are, um, you know, 
The roti is just uh, directly roasting it on the flame. Sureka, I say give up your IT career. Just just open a restaurant. <laughs> Definitely, it's a good idea, actually. But yeah. So or do I'll a, show you or how do this... a cooking do a cooking show on TV. Yeah, that ah. would be better. But she she needs to be paid the big bucks. Oh <laughs> look, how beautiful. This is just as good as we eat it in a restaurant. It's too hot actually, but if we add butter to this, it's just yum. Yeah, I'm sure it's better than restaurant. <laughs> because it's homemade. Yes, in Baba's home. Sureka, yeah. is this the bread that's sometimes made in a tandoor? Yes, yes. Okay. I was wondering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I can read someone's uh, message in chat that someone is trained chef but is an IT sector for the last 34 years. <laughs> so it's just <laughs> our need that we are in somewhere else and not at the place that we belong. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, from, uh, I'm from Bombay Catering College. Darius uh, is here. Jay Baba, I can't see you. Where are you? Uh, the picture with Erich and my mom there. Oh, yes. Hi. Yeah, you see, I don't, unless I focus on, I'm focusing on her right. video, but you guys are hidden. So, yeah, Jay Baba, good to see you here. <clears throat> to see Jay Baba. Jay Baba. I hope you are liking what I'm doing. As <laughs> you're a trained chef, I'm definitely not a trained one, but just trained under my mother. Um, but I graduated almost 40 years ago, so I forgot. <laughs> but I do, I, I, I do cook a lot. I have a recipe site and everything. So. Which chef did not grow up cooking and learning from their mother? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, all, all J Baba and hail to all cook mothers <laughs> and non cook mothers too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So Daria says in the chat, oh, we have let, huh? this is so funny. I trained to be a chef and then spent 34 years in IT. That's hilarious. <laughs> I did the opposite. <laughs> Uh, Baba retired me from IT. Thank you, Baba. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. So you were saying, Sureka? So yes, I just check up. I checked this chicken. I'm not sure if you see. There's a red gravy on the top. Yeah. I'll just show you. Aha. Uh -huh. This is what we need on the dog. Uh, the moment it starts leaving it oil, that shows <laughs> that the chicken is cooking well and the masalas are going into our chicken. So this nice. chicken needs to be cooked more. I'm checking it using this. Uh, see, uh, spatula. Eureka, did this you use dark huh? meat or white meat? Sorry? Did you use dark or white meat? White. White. So it's called boiler chicken in India that I have used here. Yes. So I'll make one more. This we'll uh, just concentrate on our chicken and I'll make the plate ready. Erika, someone, I think, sorry, she or somebody had asked about uh, what, what happens if you have an electric stove and you want to do parata, chapati, that kind of thing. 
Is yeah. Is there a mesh-like thing that sits on top? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of it, but it sits on, you can put it on your gas stove too, so you don't have to directly put it on the fire, and then you can put your Yes, and you can heat it yes. Up. The so other thing is this. Yeah, that's what I'm this talking about. Yeah, thing. exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, you, no, no. it has a stand, yeah. so it sits on top, yeah. Well, can I do this right. on a gas, on, on an electric stove? I mean... Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <sighs> I make one more. Now, uh, when we use, you know, milk instead of water, mm -hmm. while letting uh, the dough, the dough slightly became, you know, um, I could say uh, the elasticity is uh, what I'm talking about here. It has a nice elasticity. Oh, look at that. Wow. So this is what we want while making uh, this one. And also, if you are not applying, you know, butter on the top and you cook on both the sides, and that will be just tandoori roti that is available in all the Indian markets and I guess in the Indian Indian restaurants. It is so difficult to roll these out. I, I Every time I've tried, it, it sort of looks like one of the continents, you know, mostly Africa and South America. <laughs> no, actually, it's just the initial stage. Uh, in the oh. earlier episodes, in the oh. earlier sessions, I could say, that um, I have mentioned I was not a trained person for making chapati. We need, we need uh, some special skill in making that chapati. Because in last January, I was cooking chapati. All right, I have to meet somebody. I'm not sure whose mic is on. Okay, go ahead, Sorry. I don't know who that is. Uh, could it be? Okay, go ahead. So just Correct. practice and practice. Yeah. So I have made one more, uh, but this I have made for, uh, you know, tandoori chiro. I'm just dropping it in the pan with the water side down. And the pan is nice hot. Now I'll apply oil to the top. So this time it's nicely you know, uh, stick on the other side of the pan. This looks this when it's sticking on the pan. And it's cooking nice. You can see there are bubbles at all. Mm-hmm. And what we want is, we just want to turn this upside down to cook oh. the uh, roti from the other end. Wow, that is amazing. You see, you can see this. Oh. We want it on full of this. That's fabulous. We have to keep checking it. We don't want that to burn. So this, I should say that I'm making just taking time. And the first time also just now. <laughs> because earlier I have tried, but I definitely was, you know, uh, I was desperate for making this because uh, Praveen likes it to we just uh, expect and we give it after going to the foreign. Yeah, and this is the very nicely I'm using the other side of this spatula. So that leaves. It's nice oh, on this side. Fantastic. And it's beautiful. Nice side. Beautiful. After this, I'll apply butter on the top. 
I'll show you. Butter naan, that's our butter tandoori. This looks this way. Have melting uh, butter going running all over the tandoori. I'll take that one. <laughs> Definitely. Anita, I had one question. If you want to make jeera naan or lasan naan, meaning garlic naan or cumin naan or something mm -hmm. like that with mm -hmm. coriander. Uh, do you put it on which so if you apply it and you roll it out and it's already on the man which on side the, you put downwards uh -huh. so uh when we're doing garlic naan or ji naan or just plain naan that time we'll apply it to the oil side of the uh, naan ah, okay. and not on the water side the water side stays down side and after you know just uh, sprinkling the uh, i'll you know but i think i just show you how that is done so after rolling this uh, naan you sprinkle it on the top and then you just roll it once mm. So it is just pushed into the dough. Right. It doesn't fall off when um, we, you know, just try to cook it on flame. And it doesn't leave the naan. Otherwise, everything will be, you know, into the flame. So I have this roll up and uh, you just have to sprinkle on top right. and roll it with so hands on this. Okay. It just brings me. Now for now I'm adding just uh, three leaves, chopped curry leaves. Right. Uh, sorry, chop coriander leaves, and uh, that will make you understand what I'm trying to say. And on top, you will have to add oil. Are these dried or fresh coriander leaves? Fresh coriander. I have just plucked it, and I have just. Chopped it onto the uh, this naan mm. this way. Oh. Now I'll be spreading it equally. And I'll roll it once. Oh no! So pretty. So you can see that it's just pushed inside this uh, naan. Yep. You can see it's not the top, it's in like this chapi or the roti. And just pull this, apply water on the other side, and drop. We have that. Now I'll apply some ghee or the cleared butter that we generally refer. I'm spreading it gently. And actually, in we tap that is more good because we haven't you know knitted the uh, coriander or the garlic you were breaking up but there a little can you repeat that i don't know yeah, why it has 
it has started raining a lot now ah. here suddenly this is the way it looks now now i'll just put it on the screen amazing just rotating it so that it doesn't get burned <clears throat> In this meanwhile, if you uh, see that your uh, garlic is getting burned or your coriander leaves are getting burned, need not worry. That gives a good flavor. Right. See, this is nice. Beautiful. Okay, I'm booking my flight. Oh, ah, oh, please. <laughs> Yes, this is all, and it has the pan that is well cooked from the back, mm -hmm. and it's cooked from front as well. That's really a work of art. <laughs> True, <laughs> it's it, just practice, and uh, you be able to do. So that's going to taste so delicious. <laughs> Really, be tasting very good. So oh I my. have applied more butter on the top. And yes, we forgot about our chicken. It's still cooking. No, it has started raining so heavy already. Right. I have to guess that there will be thunderstorm and heavy rain. So our chicken is cooked very nicely. Sureka was some goddess in Christmas time. And now she has descended again to give us the... You know, I am really, very much, you know, I won't eat that. Even if I say, I can say, oh, the bag is not what I'm doing. Because I like when I see happiness in the case when others eat it. Exactly. It shows, Sureka. That <laughs> it just fills my mouth. And yes, this gravy is ready. I can show you this very closely. Oh, look at that lovely oil. You can again check with one chicken. You can just try to cut it in your spoon. Yes, it's breaking. It's well cooked. It's well cooked. You can see it's breaking so softly. This is actually benefit when we barely cook the chicken in the grease. And not pre-cooking the chicken separately and then giving it a crown on the top. Mm -hmm. What my last step would be is just add freshly chopped coriander. Wash this coriander. We generally go to wash and then keep it in the refrigerator because the temperature is so high that it might uh, you know, rot inside. Sorry, uh, Darius, I muted you by accident, thinking the sound was coming from your mic. Please unmute it. Is that the sound from the kitchen? I guess it's the sound of rain that's the heavy rain that's outside. Oh, it's raining in Marabad. Wow. Yes, it's raining in Marabad. 
Wow. I just chopped coriander on the top. After adding coriander, I will say not to cook it more. Definitely add coriander to switch off the flame because we want the taste of the coriander to last till the inhale and the Yes, it's nicely done. I can show you again. So delicious looking. Yes. Yes, a dish, this dish that is uh, masala and naan, ready for every human. Please join us for dinner. Just looks amazing. It looks amazing. You can draw in melting butter or just you can grate some cheese on the top. You can have it with bread, rice, uh, naan chapati, uti. Getting very hungry. <laughs> Really hungry. I hope you have a good time seeing this. So I just want anybody who wants to ask anything. Well, I'm suggest really, it's so beautiful. Today was amazing. Yeah, I thought this might be more complicated because we have two dishes together and both are not easy. Both are, you know, equally complicated. You did fabulous. And I must... <laughs> I must request for people to show um, how to make rice Indian style. Maybe, um, you know, just give us the broad um, tips on making the plain rice, zero rice, and then maybe make a, um, what do you call it? Palau? There I is. Yeah, palau, right. Vegetable palau. Yeah, palau. Definitely. Next yeah, that time would be we definitely have vegetable pulao ready. Very nice. Hello, Prabhu. I just wanted to tell yeah? you one thing. When you dropped your naan on the stove, it took me three months. I worked in the Tandu kitchen at Sunny Plants during my work term in college. It took me three months to learn how to stick the naan to the side of the Tandu. It would keep falling inside and oh. keep being yelled at by the chef. <laughs> I was like, this was my time making on. I have tried it before, but I have succeeded because I tried it with wheat flour. Yeah. Uh, then I tried it with all purpose flour, and um, I was lucky enough. Yeah, this was amazing. Amazing to watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, and, thank uh, you so much. We're excited because the recipes are coming together and the videos, so we're in the process of uh, uh, taking care of those. So you'll, you'll be looking for those. We want to make them nice and available. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, I'll be uh, giving you some assistance in adding some uh, intros and outros to the video. What is an uh, outro? What, what do you mean by outro? Intro and what? Outro. So, yeah, we might need some video editing expertise because I don't have the equipment to do it fast. Um, we'll just throw them as raw and then it, 
if we can find someone right now, Angela is really overloaded. Yeah. So we'll 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 make step by step progress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions for Sereka? Any other questions? I just wanted to point out that you can't eat that naan which has kothmir on it, the coriander one, because Mehra uh -huh. saw Baba's face in that naan. Oh! So now you have <laughs> to frame it. <laughs> you saw? Mehra commented that she could see Baba's face on the naan. Yes, I could. I could see slightly oh. of Mary Baba's face. Mm -hmm. Baba. Hey, Baba. I guess he's enjoying right here with us. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you. give me your WhatsApp too. Um, you have my information. Just uh, let me be in touch with you directly. Hey, Baba. 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 Hey, Baba.